But over the last uh, four years, we've sort of started uh, started a campaign to develop the clubhouse into a premier facility in the Southern Highlands. And um, obviously, two years ago, we got our funding together with local council and um, a lot of fundraising and volunteered labour from the club throughout the club. And uh, took on the challenge of getting uh, completing stage one at the uh, beginning of last season. Just starting to draw a lot of people out here and draw a lot of major events as well and we're working hard to uh, progress through to stage two and three. Uh, stage two is an extension uh, on the barrel end of the clubhouse uh, which will bring back a veranda section and a new internal staircase as well as a um, disabled lift up through the middle. Obviously the fire stairs which are a bit of a hazard to, to a few people at the moment. Hopefully with a bit of work we can get stage two done and then the development of stage three is an extension on the Mossvale end here over the storage sheds which will eventually turn the club into a, around a 240 seat function centre. We've been very fortunate to have a good committee in the last five or six years, uh, which is still together, uh, and I'd just like to see that continue. We want to do a lot more for the community and give something back to everybody coming out here and supporting us, so we've put something back into the local charities. There's a lot of sports here in the, in the Erridge Park facility, uh, with Little Athletics, um, Netball, the Velodrome, Touch Footy and all the school athletics carnivals are out here now. So we, we open the clubhouse up to all of those to use uh, for a charge, obviously, um, to and help them raise money for their organisations as well. If we can provide that facility for them and somewhere for them to, uh, to go and hold a trivia night or a fundraising evening and uh, or presentation nights and things like that where it's nice and warm and dry and out of the weather, it's it's uh, very satisfying for us as well and we're more than happy for them to do that. The club is very keen to instill a love of, of uh, rugby and uh, you know, uh, regard for each other. And, and so if I was trying to epitomise what the club stands for, it's that, a love of rugby and, and uh, sharing a respect and admiration for those people that are also involved in the club. Look, obviously it's been a very long, hard, probably the last eight years since we made semi-finals. 2002 was the last time we made a final. Uh, I've been here since, uh, like we had two grand finals in 98, 99 and it was fantastic times for the club. And um, But really working through the last five to six years has been a big struggle and it hats off to a lot of the guys and the committee members that have just worked tirelessly through those years to keep the club alive. Um, it was very close to not being here five years ago, so it's a credit to everybody that's put their hand up and rolled up their sleeves and done a great job to keep us going.